What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using a Florges team on the rank ladder. You guys are a no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Considering we are upgrading the channel very, very soon, I got a new intro coming, new logo, all that. I'm working with a graphic designer at this moment. Plus, we got my green screen getting set up. Everything is going crazy on the channel. So hopefully you guys do hit that follow button and stay up to date on all of my content. But like I said, we're using Florges today, and it is absolutely amazing Pokemon. Have not got a chance to use this Pokemon on the rank ladder yet, so today's video is going to be fun. I'm going to be testing it out and giving you guys my, my overall thoughts on this Pokemon. It has Mirror Herb and the Flower Veil, which can actually counter down those of teams. We can actually copy the stats with the Mirror Herb and then Skill Swap Flower Veil and take the Unaware ability off of Don Dozo. So Florges is going to work well as a special attacker and as a Don Dozo counter. But well, we can get started here in top left corner with today's team preview, starting off with Volcarona. And Volcarona is a super cool Pokemon, very, very strong all around in the special attacking field and as a defense Pokemon, considering it has Flame Body as its ability and it can burn physical attackers with that. It has Leftovers as its item, Heat Wave, Giga Drain, Quiver Dance to set up the stat boost and protect for its four moves. Second Pokemon is going to be Sylveon, and I just realized this team has three fairy types. Really cool, very heavy on the fairy side, hopefully we get to use that to our advantage. We got Pixelate as its ability, Throat Spray as its item, and then we got Hyper Voice, Terror Blast, Helping Hand, and Protect for Sylveon's moveset. Third Pokemon is going to be King Gambit, and I love this Pokemon so strong in almost every single situation. It has Supreme Overlord as its ability, the Assault Vest as its item, that has got Kowtow Cleave, Iron Head, Low Kick, and Sucker Punch for an amazing Assault Vest moveset. Fourth Pokemon is going to be that Florges over here. And this Pokemon, like I said, super cool. My first time using it on the rank ladder. Hopefully we can pick up some wins with it. It has Flower Veil adds stability, the Mirror Herb like we already mentioned, and then it's Rocking Moon Blast, Grassy Terrain, Skill Swap, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner, our fifth Pokemon is going to be Garchomp. And you guys already know, Garchomp is an absolute beast in this game. Rough Skin adds its ability, the Life Orb adds its item, and the moveset is fairly normal with Dragon Call, EQ, Rock Slide, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl is over here as our support Pokemon with Prankster and the Babiri Berry. Then it's got Brick Break to Break Screens, Thunder Wave for a little bit of speed control, Taunt to Taunt opposing support mods, and Fake Out for its final move. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, let the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Florges team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a double dragon team with Gudra and Hydreigon. They also have Cerulege, such cool Pokemon, then meet Alskarada, Gardevoir, and Mimikyu. I absolutely love this team, love every single Pokemon on the team, but we're going to have to beat up on it and give it some work. So how should we go into this one? How should we lead it? How should we play it? Do I lead Sylveon? I kind of want to lead a fairy Pokemon. I think like that wouldn't be bad considering all the dragon types you have. And plus, we are super effective onto four of these Pokemon. Absolutely amazing. So do I go four just for a lead? Wouldn't it be bad? Would not be bad, so I kind of want to do that. We're going to go Forges here for a nice little lead. I could go Volcarona. I could definitely go Volcarona here as well. We have Quiver Dance. Could try to get something set up. We also have the Heat Wave. We have, uh, what else do we have? What was the other move? Was it a Grass move? It was, yeah, Giga Drain. That's going to be okay. But Heat Wave is more so a little bit better here. But who do I go into? I definitely want Forges as a lead. I could go in with Chomp. Maybe get something cooking from there. That wouldn't be too bad. Or I can just start paralyzing Pokemon. I think I'm going to start paralyzing Pokemon. Bring the Gambit. Bring the Chomp. Bang, bang. Hit done. Let's get rolling. And I just realized we had three seconds left. So luckily, I kind of had my team already picked out in my mind. I was just like, yo, let's send it forward. Let's get after it. And let's get rolling here in match number one. But I wonder who our opponent is going to lead here. Could definitely be Mimikyu to pop Trick Room. I feel like there's not really too much speed control with both of our teams besides my uh, Thunder Waves. That's pretty much it. But he ends up going Hydreigon and Meowskarada. So two dark type Pokemon. Two Pokemon that are going to be weak up against Florges. Okay, we can't paralyze them either considering they are both dark type. So we're going to have to Moonblast one down. And if I had to guess, Hydreigon would be the one to switch typings, correct? Makes the most sense. Maybe in the Steel. So I might want to Terrasalize you in the straight dark. Which I kind of like. I'm going to go straight dark here. I'm going to go after the Meowskarada. And I'm just going to fake out the Hydreigon. What do I fake out Miascarada? Because Miascarada is probably sashed. Hmm. What is my player? I'm going to fake out Miascarada. I'm going to fake out the Miascarada. We're Terrasalized here. We're going straight Dark type. We're looking to get after it. <clears throat> and the reason I am Terrasalizing is I'm scared that that Hydreigon has a Flash Cannon on it. So I can Terrasalize and get after the battle that way. 
But let's see how this one plays out. Use some floor just for the first time. I love his design already, though. Fake out's coming out here. Chipping up some damage. More importantly, taking off Focus Dash if it does have it. So I like that. Heat Wave's gonna fly here. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. They end up getting a crit. Moonblast's gonna fly out here. That should be bye bye, Miascarada. Yes, sir. Strong start for this battle. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. So I didn't really get a chance to check out Forgus' stats. Let me actually show them to you guys real quick. And we'll show you guys the EVs on it right now. And I know a lot of people ask in the comment section down below, Yo, Jeans, where's Pokey Pace? Where's this? Where's that? Whenever I do have the Pokey Pace, I will leave it in the description. So I'm not just leaving it just to say, like, screw you guys. I'm not giving you guys the Pokey Pace. I, if I don't have it in the description, it's because I do not have it on my hands. But if it is in the description, I have it for you guys. And we should have this uh, team's description or Pokey Pace down in the description. But from here, I'm just going to Moonblast over into the Hydreigon slot. And I believe I can just freely go into like a Thunder Wave. But like I said, I want to show you guys this Pokemon stats right here. Its speed's pretty solid. It's like mid all around. Its defense stats are really good and special attack is solid. And its EVs are fully maxed out in HP and defense. So again, very bulky Pokemon, which is good. So from here, I'm just going to go into that Moonblast. And then I'm just going to straight up Thunder Wave you, right? You're not Dark-type, you're Ghost and Fire. We can straight up Thunder Wave this Pokemon. So I'm going to like throw some Paralyzer. We're going to end up Terrasilizing probably the Hydreigon, right? Or is it going to be Cerule Edge? It's going to be Cerule Edge. I'm cool with that. Because if I can land this Moonblast, this could be big time. I'm looking to paralyze it, slow it down, and have Floor just go basically second on attacking turns. The Thunder Wave comes in here. So now I'm thinking Hydreigon goes first. And then we can roll into Floor gets his Moonblast into the Hydreigon. This could be a strong start. This could be a really good play for us. So now going to come out here. I don't mind that too much. I mean... Minus one on my special attack, but still should be able to do a nice chunk of damage here. Should be able to get off a huge chunk of damage. So we go into the Moonblast, and wow, brings you down to one. Was this thing Sash? This was the Sash Pokemon? That is wild. So he's, he ends up being Sash. He's going to go into a Bitter Blade here. Try to take out my Grimstone, but can you eat this? You can. You can. You live on six. That's good. So that thing's paralyzed. We know it goes last. I could... I could pop a Grassy Train. Hmm. But I'd rather just straight up double down the Hydreigon and try to get rid of this Pokemon, right? Be my best bet just to get rid of a Hydreigon. So Heat Wave comes out here. That's going to take me out. Forges does outspeed the Cerule Edge due to that Thunder Wave. And we're going to say bye-bye to Hydreigon. I like where we're sitting. I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. Do not think we're sitting bad. Considering we have the ye old Garchomp in the back end. Not afraid to pop EQs. Not afraid to pop the EQs with the Life Orb. The so Moonblast comes out here. And we get the Paralyze on the turn. Mwah. It is lovely. It is lovely. I could go into Gambit here, but do I really want to go into Gambit? Not really. I'd rather go into... Do you have Protect Forgers? You do. Beautiful. So I'm going to go into my boy... My boy Garchomp here. And this seems like just like a free EQ turn, right? This seems like we Protect, we EQ, we take off the Skies, probably KO this Rule Edge, and then we go from there, right? It just seems like a, a, a pretty solid turn from us. So let's rock it. Let's do it. The Protect comes out from my floor. Just hopefully none of his Pokemon are protecting. And we can just take this turn. Yep, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This first match, mwah, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. See you later, Cerule Edge. Yeah, that Pokemon absolutely ripped on. Mimikyu's going to die out here. Or not die out. It's going to drop its disguise. And yeah, now it's just a 3v1 situation. GG's. G to the G's. G to the G's. Let's see what Mimikyu's going to do. Probably hit me with a play rough, right? Yep, play rough KOs me. It does not KO me. Mimikyu, you stank. You stank. Now you're taking some rough skin damage. I'm just going to throw a nice lovely Moonblast into this thing. And then go into... Do I EQ again or do I Rock Slide? I got an EQ, right? I guess we'll Rock Slide. I guess we'll drop a Rock Slide. Shadow Sneak comes out here. Okay. That's fine. That's going to KO me. But then I get off a nice lovely Moonblast. Then I just bring out... The one and only King Gambit. And King Gambit can easily 1v1 a Mimikyu any day of the week. Any day of the week. You name it. Any day that ends with Y. Yo, Floor just got some work done in this battle. Absolutely loved it. Ripped into the Miascarada. Ripped into the Hydreigon. Did some damage over onto the Mimikyu. Can't go wrong with it. Cannot go wrong with it. The solid way to showcase this uh, Pokemon in match number one. Even though we're just throwing Moonblast. It just worked out perfectly. So we're going to Iron Head here. And it's over with. See you later. He's going to play rough me, and it's going to pick up KO because I switched to dark. But we're chilling. We're chilling. Like I said, we can give it in the back end. I'm winning this battle 10 times out of 10 times. Iron Head's going to fly out here and pick up the easy KO for the victory. Let's go, Gambit. Iron Head. Bill.
See you later, GG's. 1-0 oh to get this video started. Let's hop into our second match. Look to go back to back. Second battle coming at you guys. Going up against a Slowking team. Absolutely love that Pokemon's design, but they also have Tinkaton and Skelly Dirge. Two of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 9. Absolutely love their designs. With Gargleknack, Arbalava, and then Baxcalibur. So this is basically a Gen 9 team with Slowking. Really cool team. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win. Go back to back here. But how should I play this one? Who should I go into for a nice level lead? Because I do think that potentially they go into slow king and i think floor just could be pretty good here right who do i think they are going to go into i mean tinkaton is definitely an option with the fake out all that good stuff so i could go in with a fake out user of my own and start taking speed control so i am going to do that i am going to go in with my grim snarl and then as second pokemon hmm hmm who should my second pokemon be gambit's not bad i don't really mind gambit i go with chomp no not really Go in Volcarona, maybe try to set up a Quiver Dance this turn. Then go Garchomp, and then last but not least, have this uh, Gambit as a back-end Pokemon. I'm digging it. I really like that. So, let's go back to back here. But I'm hoping we can kind of just set up like a Quiver Dance, maybe turn one. Get rolling from there. Because that could be a pretty solid turn. We get the special defense boost, you get the speed boost, you get the special attack boost. So, all three in one, such a good move. Hope we get it rolling. Let's see who our opponent wants to lead. It's going to be Skelly Dirge alongside... With Tinkaton. Okay. Hmm. Definitely want to set up a Quiver Dance. And I kind of just want to fake out, right? The real question is who's faster? I feel like you could be faster, right? Oh, yeah, Grimstone. I feel like you could be faster than all these guys. 92. I don't know. I don't know if you're faster than Tinkaton, but we are going to go for the fake out here. Try to clap up on that. I'm going to try to set up this Quiver Dance. I am going to try to set up the Quiver Dance. So, Terrasalization is going to come out here for turn one from probably the Skelly Dirge to straight grass, right? Skelly Dirge coming in here. What type are you going into? Straight fairy type. Probably going to Terror Blast my Grim Snarl down. I can deal with that as long as I can set up this lovely Quiver Dance turn one. I think that could be a good turn. The Ticketon's going to fake out. Oh, no, man. Ticketon outsped me. Hurts the soul. So, he picks up a free turn pretty much. He picks up a free turn. Terror Blast can come in here. Probably KO me, right? My Grimstone is gone. Down for the count. Later, buddy. Eat this. You do eat it. Okay, that's a pretty good eat up. Okay, so I get leftovers. I get my HP pretty much stacked back up. And from here, I got to paralyze one of these guys. And I think just paralyzing the Skelly Dirge would be the play. And then setting up the Quiver Dance? Or do I go into the heat? They have no first turn priority. I'm going to set up the Quiver Dance here. I'm going to paralyze, set up the Quiver Dance. Try to go from there. Hopefully... Grant us a free turn with a paralyze. That could be huge. That could be huge. So we get the paralyze going. Quiver Dance can come out here. We outspeed everybody. Awesome. And now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. So we get that going. Special defense boost is out and about. Knockoffs can come over here. And she's going to take off my item. That's fine. You take off my leftovers. I have that special defense boost. And he's going to go into a Torch Song. The Torch Song comes out here. I don't really mind that too much. Because now I can bring out Gambit. If I bring out Gambit, we can just one-shot it, no problem. And that's definitely it. Gambit, come on out. So Grimstar goes out there. I feel like we get a decent amount of value off of it just by dropping a Thunder Wave. Really helps us out. So Gambit's out here. We get Supreme Overlord. Now, does that boost stats? Or is it, like, I want to see. No, it doesn't. I was going to see if, like, you could see how much stat boost it gets. But it is definitely stronger. We can pop an Iron Head. But I kind of want to see if they're going to swap to any of these Pokemon. Probably not, right? Maybe, maybe. We're still going to throw the Iron Head in this slot. So we'll Iron Head right here into Skelly Dirge, and then just pop a Heat Wave, no problem, right? Definitely got to pop a Heat Wave. This turn could have been a great turn to actually go into a, uh, a, what's it called? Another Quiver Dance. Yep, yeah, dude, I'm telling you, we should have went into another Quiver Dance. So he withdraws and he swaps out. He's going to go into Gargle Knuckle. Not too bad. I mean, I can deal with it. That's fine. And yeah, dude, another Quiver Dance could have been amazing. Could have definitely been amazing. So he double swaps our Balava and Gargoyle is gonna come out here. Heat Wave's flying, so we're gonna get some nice damage off onto this Balava. Maybe even KO it. We do not pick up a KO, but again, solid damage. We need to burn on the Gargoyle. Seed Sour coming out. I don't mind. I could take some HP back. This thing also is that policy? That's policy. Can you KO this thing, please? Please, Gamby. Gamby, take it out. Thank you. Okay, so <laughs> we get rid of that thing. That's not bad. So he's forced to bring back out Tinkaton. Tinkaton's probably going to go for the fake out. Makes the most sense, right? And I think I just protect my 
Volcarona here. Because Volcarona is a huge threat. It really is. And I do have Giga Drain on this thing, which is huge. Giga Drain is rather big. Because I think we're going to start seeing like fake outs and... Uh, and what's that? Salt Cures coming in here. He's going to break the mold. We know fake outs coming in here. I cannot protect you. So I'm just going to attack with you. I could go for a low kick. Low kick can't do some damage. The heavier the Pokemon is, I kind of dig that. I could go straight into Kowtow Cleave or an even Iron Head. But I'm leaning towards just low kicking this thing, right? Because I have Heat Wave to get some work done onto that Tinkathon. So I'm just going to protect the Volcarona. We're going to hope the fake out and the Salt Cures dump one down into us. And we're going to go for the slow kick. So I protect. Fake out does go into you. Wow, that hurts the soul. And what are you going for? What are you going for, Gargi? A body press. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Leave me alone. So he does not know we're going for a low kick. There's no idea. No clue. Do I double down on the Gargi here? There's definitely a possibility. And I still have Terrasalization, which I might save. Because who was his last Pokemon? It was Skelly. Ooh. Skelly seems like a problem for us. It does, right? Skelly 100% seems like a problem for us. Skelly. Oh, Skelly does. I feel like we need... I feel like we might need you, right? We might need you. Do I swap at this point? Yeah, I'm going to swap. We need that. We need that Pokemon. And you know what? I'm just going to Giga Drain this. We need... We need Gambit to take out that Skelly dude. We're going to need Gambit. Because we know Gambit can outspeed. There's no first time priority. And Iron Head can do a crazy amount of damage. So I'm going to hard swap. I'm going to stay here. And then I'm going to Thrasalize this Pokemon. So us to Rasalize and straight Grass. We have the Grass type now. We have the Grassy Terrain. We have the Giga Drain. Get off some lovely little damage on, onto the Gargle now. And we'll see how this next one plays. The Giga Drain coming out here. Thank you for the Terrain. How much damage are we doing? Oh, yes, sir. Volcarona. Yes, sir. And I forgot we had the plus one on that special attack boost. Huge turns from us. Huge turn. One tap in a Gargle Knackle. Money turn. Money turn. Tinkathon's probably just going after... Uh, no way you play rough in that slot. That's wild, though. I mean, it was probably that or Gigaton Hammer, which I don't mind. But from here, he brings out Skelly Dirge. <clears throat> and Garchomp outspeeds both. I feel like I just protect an EQ, right? Get off as much damage on the field as I possibly can. <clears throat> Let Garchomp die out. Then have Volcarona and King Game probably finish up this battle. Because, again, we still have that Paralyzed from the Grimmsnarl early on in the match. So I'm just going to roll out with that. I could probably eat this move up, but I do not want to take any damage. So I'm just going to roll with a nice little protect here. So I protect, especially because they do have Skelly Dirge, and Skelly Dirge can maybe one-tap my Volcarona. Maybe not because I have a special defense boost, but again, just trying to chip up as much damage as I can with these Pokemon. So we do a little bit to the Skelly Dirge, we do a nice chunk to Tinkathon, and I'm hoping they just KO my, yeah, my Garchomp. Okay, so Garchomp dies out here. I feel like this is just a simple Heat Wave into Iron Head play after this. He was pretty straightforward, right? And he was going to throw a Torch Song. Yeah. So we block it up. Yo, great swap from us. Like I said, I realized that at the last second. I was like, yo, we need this Gambit if we want to win this battle. Because this terrestrialized Skelly Dirge could be a problem. So now I get to bring back out the Gambo. Again, I feel like Heat Wave and Iron Head kind of cleans up everything. If Heat Wave, if, if Heat Wave lands. Because Heat Wave will take out the Tinkaton. And Iron Head should be able to just get rid of this thing. If it doesn't, well, Volcarona should be able to survive whatever shots go on. But yeah, I feel like this covers like all options. It protects Pokemon, all that good stuff. So I'm with it. So Heat Wave flies. Who dodged it? Just ruined it. That, that might have just lost me the match. That might have just lost me the match. That might have just lost me the match, ladies and gents. That might have just lost me the match. We just missed that Tinkathon. Player off coming in here. That just lost us the match. We just lost because of that. I shouldn't have even said anything. I shouldn't even said if both these land. Let's see how this one plays out. Can you eat that? You do eat that. Uh, real question is... No, we can't KO you. We simply cannot. Uh, unless we get a crit. I mean, we need a crit now. We need a crit now. This is... Oh, we lost. Unless... Wait. Paralyzed still on the field. So you're saying there's a chance. We're in a heat wave again. Look for the KOs. Come on. Pokey gods. You, 
just just screw me over. You gotta give me you gotta give me the win. Heat wave coming out here. Chaos Tinkathon all day. We need a paralyze here. We need a paralyze here. It's the only way. Of course not. Of course not. Are you kidding me? What you mean, dog? What you mean? That is a what you mean moment right there. Missing a heat wave and losing the match. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one for today's video. Should be two and now. Let's hop to our third and final battle. Look for that winning record. We're just going to put that last battle behind us. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to think about it. That was just ugly. That was the definition of a bad beat right there. But third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. Going up against a Gardevoir and Galati. That is sick. Cannot wait to versus one. Hopefully they bring it both. They also have Pachirisu, which is a very underrated support Pokemon. Was very good in uh, Diamond and Pearl. Or I should say Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I've been seeing that a lot. And then, uh, what is that? Reverum and es Espathra and... Bax Calibur. Baxi Cali. Bax Cali. Um, hmm. Who am I playing here? I've gotten out Sylveon. I'm gonna get out Forge again in this battle, too. Hmm. Grimstar is not a bad lead just for the Paralyze to kind of go out from there. But I'm leaning towards a nice little Volcarona lead. Or even Forge again. Hmm. What's the Jeans play here? What does the Jeans play? I said we go Forges. We're here to showcase this Pokemon. Let's rock out with it. We're going to go Forges. I am going to go in with... I'm thinking Grimstone again. Bring in the Gambit. We're not going to showcase Sylveon today. We're not going to showcase Sylveon. Even though, like, you guys seen plenty of Sylveon. If you guys really want to see Sylveon, I have other videos. Go check them out. All that good stuff. But we're here to showcase Forges. I love this Pokemon so far. We use it in the first battle. We ripped up with it. Second battle. Probably should have used it. Probably would have won. But, uh, <laughs> yeah... Did not use it and lost to RNG, which was so ugly. It was so bad because legit, like five seconds before I popped that heat wave, I was just like, if everything works out fine, if heat wave lands, we should be fine. And I would have been fine even if heat wave didn't land on just a skelly ditch. I needed to hit that Tinkathon and it didn't work out. So Reverum comes out here. It's stealing poison. That sounds awful. I think I have to terrestrialize my Flurgis. I could just start ripping glasses of moons, correct? I think that's my play. Wait, did I, did I terrestrialize? I know I have terrestrialize. I could skill swap. I could definitely skill swap. But I'm just going to rip into that and I'm just going to fake out the rev room. Don't really need it doing much here. But I'm just going to fake out the rev room. As Path or Shiny looks dope, though. That black on it, it's like black and purple, right? It looks insanely cool. I'm terrestrializing Floor just yet again. Really cool Pokemon. I like it as a dark, as a dark terror. I think it's a solid terror. I haven't seen a lot of Don Dozos either, as of recently. The fake out popping out here. Pop. A little bit of damage, but really just want that flinch that turn. And what do you have? A check, a check button? Red card. Oh, you red card me. How dare you? How dare you red card me? But now now, now you have a problem. Oh, wait. Okay, cool. I was going to pick Garchomp anyway. <laughs> I was going to pick Garchomp anyway. Combine coming. Yo, that ain't right. That ain't right right there. Combine coming out here. Um, I think we just pop EQs, right? It's an EQ time. I mean, Reverum cannot eat up an EQ. No shot. Oh, yo, look at that. Yo, Mirror Herb coming in clutch. That's a huge Mirror Herb. I totally forgot about my Mirror Herb, but that's huge. <laughs> that is huge. We just get a free special attack and special defense boost. Chipping up some big time damage. This thing does get a speed boost. I wish Mirror Herb could pop twice. But he's pretty fast now. But from here, do I protect? As path or speed, I think is pretty high. And EQ's gonna be neutral. You know what? I think we do this. Oh no, that thing can lean hard. But I said we just Moonblast into you and we just protect the Chomp this turn. I think that's my play. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna end up withdrawing the Rebel Room. He doesn't want to deal with that. And I'm hoping that's Path that just goes after my Garchomp, right? I'm gonna bring out Bax Cali. Bax Cali comes out here and he protects the S Path. So he wants another speed boost here. Pretty smart play. Pretty smart play. This is this is a wild battle right here. This is a wild battle. Because what I'm thinking right here is... I'm thinking that Espath is rocking a fairy move, right? I had to guess. You want the speed boost. Probably rocking Gleam. Gleam could be scary. And from here, I just want to protect you. I should be skill swapping that thing, really. But, uh... And I'm going to bring out you. Just so I can sucker punch and pick up the KO. Hoping that the back... I mean, Baxcalibur, I don't really know what it's going to do. But we'll see what... 
they want to do. I think he's going to go into like some sort of fairy move, maybe Dazzling Gleam to double down into my Pokemon. But we'll see. We'll see what the play is. He's going to Terrasilize. Is he going Baxi? He's going to go Baxi Caliber. Maybe Ice. Straight Ice? Yeah, Straight Ice is going to come out here. And he going after his real question. We're hoping you're going after Florges. But that comes out here. If you're going for Icicle Spears, my, my Gambit can soak pretty well. And we'll see. Yep, there's your Gleam. So great read from us for that turn. We get the Protect. We get the Gambit out there. Gambit can soak this up all day. And then Icicle Spears going to fly in the floor to spot. So that is huge because now I can freely Sucker Punch into the Espathra until it dies, right? Well, once we hit it, it dies. And then we just throw Moon Blast over in this slot. And then we just straight up Sucker Punch because that thing is fast. So amazing swap from us. Great turn so far. Let's see what he ends up doing. Because that thing was looking scary for a moment. It was looking real scary. It was looking real scary. But both teams still have all four Pokemon. Usually the battles are quick as going about, so I always like having a great battle like this. But he ends up withdrawing back to Calibre. And what are you doing here? I'm gonna go back in the Reverie. Room. And Protect's gonna come, up, come out here. So Protect comes out here. I go for a Sucker Punch, it's going to fail. We're throwing a Moon Blast over. Doing a little bit of damage, and I don't know if I double down to the S Pather slot. Speed boost is going crazy. We might have to double down to S Pather. I'm gonna double down to S Pather just in case it's just like reading the sucker punch and stuff, but it has to go. This thing is crazy boosted. <laughs> I don't feel like dealing with it. <laughs> he needs to go. Sucker punch fails. He's probably going for a calm mind. I'm just here to take it out at this point. Yeah. Hopefully this uh Hopefully this Moon Blast KOs. I think Red Room's looking to just go after my Gambit. Toxic Spikes. Don't worry. Say less. Toxic Spikes coming out here. Now, can this KO? Can this Moon Blast KO? Give me a little bit of KO action. Let's go. Let's go. That's a big turn. That's exactly why I doubled down there. I was just like, in case I want to go into a Calm Mind, or maybe even swap, we can just either take out as Path or, or get off some big damage into that slot. So he's going to be forced to throw... Who are you going out? With Gallade. Okay, I do not mind Gallade here. Actually, I kind of do, considering it is a fighting Pokemon. And at that point, I'm just going to protect, because you're probably going after me. And do I Sucker Punch here? I feel like I Sucker Punch, correct? Just in case it's going after my Gambit, but I think it's going after Florges. Florges is the bigger threat. So I'm going to protect the Florges here. Oh, you son of a biscuit. <laughs> he ends up protecting Pokemon of his own. Uh, okay. And we will protect here as well. Hmm. Sucker Punch getting blocked. Probably thinks we're choice. It fails. Rev Room's going for what? More Toxic Spikes, yo. Leave me alone with the Toxic Spikes. Don't they stack? I believe they stack somewhat. Yeah, they're plus two. They stack. A little biscuit. <laughs> it's a little biscuit? Go crazy. Um, I could set up a grassy turn, but I don't think there's point. I'm doubling down into this, this thing. I'm sucker punching. I'm going to keep sucker punching. Thank you. Now I hit that thing. We do half health. Let's go for a spin out. Leave me alone here. How much damage are you doing? Okay, we eat pretty well. Are you doubling down in Florges or are you taking out my Gambit? Takes out my Gambit. That's actually per perfectly fine because this is exactly why we double down. So we get rid of Glade. We are forced to bring out the Chompy Chompy, right? Protect EQ I could. And he has back to Caliber. It's actually really fine by me. Because ETQ can chip up damage. I'm going to Moon Blast down. I still have you. What could I use you for? I mean, Brick Breaks? Poison would slowly chip me away. Wow, poison's, poison's going to be scary. Do I EQ still? Do I protect EQ? I might protect EQ. I might just have to. I might have to. Poison coming in hot here, dude. This is a great battle. That's a great way to finish off today's video. I wouldn't lose this one. I think we just protect EQ. Because I can 1000% see uh, the Reverend protecting. Let's see. I'm hoping the rev room isn't protecting because this is four times super effective onto it. Ice shard, it's not. I think we died in that though. Can you eat this? No. Ooh, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. I don't think we got this battle. 
I don't think we got that battle. That ice shard was... Did me, did me dirty. Poison Jab comes out there. Hmm. Anyway, we can win this battle. Maybe. Brick Break coming in hot. Anyway, we can win this battle. Poison's hit me hard, too. Poison coming in clutch. Uh, what a third and final battle, but I think I just... I think Bax Calibre's got to be the one we go after. Double down into it. But still, it outspeeds, I think, both my Pokemon and can start throwing Icicle Spears. Terrasilize is probably loaded dice too. And he protects and we double down into it. That's gonna be GG's right there. He's gonna go into a spin out right onto my Grimmsnarl. That's gonna be game, set, and match. Wow, hurts the soul that we're gonna that we're gonna get a losing record for today. But yeah, you guys already know. Great third and final battle. Should have won the second battle. So in my heart, we had that winning record. We we played like we have a winning record. And this third and final battle, we we played really well here. We honestly did. Let's see how much damage this poise does. Only 10, but it gets more every time. Uh, is there anything I could do? Double down the back caliber. That's the only thing I could do. So yeah, I could Thunder Wave it. Screw it. We're going for Paralyzed turns. Nope, it just Ice Shards me. <laughs> we went for Paralyzed turns. Hoping it wasn't going for an Ice Shard. Happens. Happens. Just please take out my Grim Snarl. He can't do much. He cannot do much anymore. But yo, every room was sick. Every room was definitely cool. If we could have popped that EQ. Ooh. And I'm thinking if what's called did not terrestrialize, we could have actually KO'd it. Or actually ate up that uh, Ice Shard, which would have been huge for us. Did he dodge the Paralyze? Or did he have Barry or something? Did he dodge that Paralyze? I think he did. He doesn't seem to be Paralyzed. No Electric Shocks going around it. But I'm going to just run this battle. One and two for today's video. Played the Floor Just Team to its fullest potential. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a sad one and two losing record for today's video. Like I've been saying, battle number two still irks me a little bit. Should have won that battle. Should be sitting at two and one, but it's all good. We got to showcase this floor just team to its fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.